So we have this little like speed round that I was kind of wanted to do with you, where it's just kind of like fast questions. So I mean, Deal. you can skip. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, childhood crush. Jesus Christ, childhood cross. Ricky Martin. Oh, how disappointing. Not at all. That's his problem. He's still hot. No. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. All right. If you could do, because you know that there's basically a, like a fake porn for basically every movie ever made. Like Forrest Gump, there's a fake one. Like if you, if you could do any like porn movie, what would it be like a porn oh version? Oh my God. You know what? I love, I freaking love Lucifer. The show. Oh, the show? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The show, The Blacklist and The 100. Okay. Well, shit. Yeah, I don't think they've really done like a lot of porn, like spoofs of TV shows. So you might be ahead of the game again. So. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's a good one. Yeah, holy shit. Well, if you could make a porn with any celebrity, who would it be? Nah, I don't give a fuck about no celebrities. They're all freaking like super sad people. Um, I'll do Barack Obama. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. And I, you know who really I, I admire, but I would not do a porn with? Malala. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nothing, nothing sexual with Malala, please. No, with Barack right. Obama, yes, but not with Malala. But I would, yeah, I would like to see. Yeah, that's definitely like my celebrity. Like, oh, really? Yeah, that's a good one. Malala is the fucking. That's a that girl, girl is amazing. Yeah, I mean to get. I cannot even I, hear her. I cannot even hear her talk. Like she makes me cry constantly. It's like stop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I didn't really know that much about her until her book. I'm trying, I can't remember the name of the book, but she had the book that came out. And I was like, who is this person? Because it was on everything, like on Facebook, Instagram. And yeah, I was like, I started this... watching some interviews with her. I was like, holy shit, I'm about, like, I'm about to start fucking crying. Like this Yeah, woman she's is... a big deal. She's a big deal. She's a big deal for me. That's a that's a good one. Yeah. All right. So what's what's your go-to song like to get you in the mood? Like, do you have like a go-to song that you listen to or something like that? Then? For sex, no, but a song um, that makes me happy is anything Celia Cruz. When I'm cleaning, if I want to wake up happy, like I just need to put anything Celia Cruz. All right, good one. Good one, I'll have to check that one out then. All right, and what's something that's like a non-sexual turn on? When people are very secure and they don't need to pretend or be loud or be seen that's a good you one. know like yeah. just normal shit yeah because the people that need like all of that attention are usually it's because they're so fucking like low in themselves i know, you know? so many people that need a lot of attention i need so many people that that literally like are so self-centered and it's all about themselves that those people end up, I realize that end up being very sad and I start getting them out of my life one by one. 